Welcome to From Rome Info Video here at Vatican City, the 9th of March, uh, 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 for a report on the closing of Masses. Uh, on the 7th of uh, March, the, uh, minister, the Council of Ministers here in Italy issued a decree uh, suspending religious ceremonies in the affected zones of northern Italy. Uh, suspended all public services, including uh, funerals, at weddings, and baptisms. The uh, Conference of Italian Bishops yesterday afternoon it, uh, sent a, uh, instructions to all the bishops and uh, priests of Italy to suspend all religious uh, ceremonies in all of Italy, even though that's not required by the government. They're being a bit hesitant about it on their website. They don't admit they, they admit they did it, but they don't say why or who's responsible. I was at the um, uh, Congregation for Divine Worship here at the, uh, uh, at the Vatican uh, just a few moments ago, and they said the decision was made by the Conference of Bishops. I asked them whether the Secretary of State at the Vatican had anything to do with it, and they were coy on it. I asked if it was optional or obligatory, and they said the decision of the bishops is obligatory. Um, it's a great scandal to all the faithful, even in some local churches where their doors are still open. The faithful are coming and, and waiting for Mass, saying the rosary and looking on it in, in wonderment. I don't think in the history of the church ever uh, the uh, sacraments have been suspended in an entire country um, uh, for, re for fear of uh, influenza. Uh, if it wasn't for modern medicine, we wouldn't even know this influenza was around. The death rate really isn't that noticeable. It's not like a plague and people are dropping or anything. But um, it, it's, a, it's a great scandal to, to the faithful. Now everyone is denied Mass, even those who attend uh, the Trinity Mass. So uh, it's going to have a terrible impact on pilgrimages to Rome and tourism. The uh, region of Lazio in which Rome is has also it's issued its own special decree and they're banning unnecessary movements around town. Uh, in public stations, and um, if there's large crowds, they'll start asking people if they have, if they're going to work or not, and whether they have uh, uh, authorization to do that. Um, uh, it's pretty clear that the decisions come down from the Vatican, though they're not saying that, because no one in the uh, Conference for Italian Bishops is admitting who made the decision. A point of canon law: the Conference of um, bishops has no authority to suspend the sacraments of the mass that pertains to the right of a bishop in extreme cases but even in something like this for people who are not sick to deny them the sacraments is is a complete betrayal of the gospel it's a betrayal of vatican II. Uh, if the mass how how can priests say mass in private if the mass is supposed to be a banquet for everyone they say so this decree from the uh, it's not from the state that they're observing it, it's from the bishops because the state only imposed a decree on a certain number of provinces in northern Italy. It's the bishops who imposed it on the whole country. It really has no theological uh, justification or even in scientific uh, justification because the people who go to Mass usually aren't the ones who are sick. So this has been a report from, from Rome Info. I'm Brother Alexis Bagnolo. I'll try to keep uh, follow-ups as the situation develops. Uh, 